scrimmage today, we got a lot of work in, got a lot of reps, got to still have a lot of work to do. You know, we're three weeks away from our first competition, and we are three weeks away from our first competition. Tell me about, uh, obviously, uh, the quarterback position, uh, things that you saw from those guys uh, in, in their respective reps. I mean, what I saw, again, I saw Brandon, the one that was uh, doing the most. Okay, he still has a lot of growing and maturing to do out there, but uh, from what I could see today, he did the most. He he had the most command and the most control out there amongst all four of them. And, and so, to me, I would I would based on what I saw today, I would probably give him the edge. Do you see this is almost kind of an educational point for your players, you know, with the refs here and explaining what's going to be called? It has to be. I mean, you know, we get the officials out there. I mean, you know, we're we're on the sideline, and you know, the officials are talking, and it's it, these these are new things to them also. So everybody's in kind of a, a learning mode as to what you can do and what you can't do. You know, it, there are a lot of changes being made for the safety of the game, when, and when the safety is involved, you really can't argue. Well, how do you uh, how do you tell your guys? You know, what what's the reasoning behind all this stuff? Safety. It's about safety. It's about your safety. It's about their safety. That's what it's about. And uh, you know, we're this is this is a great game that was invented a long, long, long time ago. And we see that some things are happening. Uh, people see some things are happening as far as after their careers are over. And we're just trying to protect them from that. And that's that's what all this is about, their safety. Hey, talk about kind of the message that you sent to your players, you know, saying whether you agree with it or not, it's still going to be called. It's, it, that's it. I mean, I'm hearing guys, calls are being made. You know, and these guys grew up and, and what you would call the football era where uh, they watching the highlights and films and things that made guys uh, help contribute to their Hall of Fame status and things of that sort and, and can't do that now. And But as in everything, life changes, life evolves. And sometimes, well, most of the time, it's for the betterment of the person, the game, or whatever is involved. And uh, we have to take that the same way as this. Coach, when you talk about uh, just, you know, you talked about Brandon and Kyle, uh, just you near know, the command of the offense, what you're looking for as you move closer to, uh, to game time. Okay, you know, you want a quarterback that first thing you don't want him to do is go out there and lose ball games for him. Making poor decisions, throwing the ball to the other guy, not taking care of the ball, uh, not understanding the offense when you got numbers against you and we can't go the other way or throw the ball or vice versa. That's what you. First, that's the first thing you want from your quarterback. You don't want your quarterback to be the hazard out there. Okay. Then, as he gets a little older, as he matures a little bit and understands football a little more and understand what he can and can't do, then you start to get him to make uh, more contributions to the game, uh, be a difference maker, and things of that sort. But it's like it's like a baby. You know, babies don't come out sprinting. They gotta they gotta start crawling and all that stuff first. Can you uh, notify or, or see any sort of strength emerging with your team uh, about a week or so in? I, I think we're foot, I think we we got a chance to be in a physical football team. We're still learning. We had some some injuries, uh, and so some guys that we're counting on were, were unable to get out here and perform. So you know we're still three weeks out, and we're three weeks away. You always talk about next man up, but you know you got some guys on the offensive line, most notably that are that are out. But you're also looking for guys that can step in, you know, and get into the rotation a little bit on the offensive line. Like I said before, everybody who's been brought here in this training camp have been given an opportunity to play, show what they can do. And it's up to them to take advantage of it. I don't care where they are, who they are, uh, what position. Uh, all that don't matter. The bottom line is, are you ready to make positive contributions to this football team? Do you know and understand your role? If you're ready to do that, let's go. When you look at the tape uh, tonight, going into tomorrow, would you have a better idea maybe of a little bit of separation at the quarterback position? I believe so. I mean, you know, you can't fake it out here. You know, seven on seven is half football. All you're doing is worrying about making certain reads, okay? When you come out here, it's live. You know, you got guys breathing down your neck and swinging at your neck and all this kind of stuff, and, and you still got to read the reads and, and all this kind of stuff and take control of it and you got a time going off and everything. There are a lot of things happening out here. And so this is when you start, or this is when they start creating separation. You got a running back battle, Coach. Talk about which running back showed uh, showed promise today. Uh, we had about three of them, that, three or four of them that I thought did well. Um, you know, Brandon, uh, 
I think Brandon is really putting himself up there as a guy that's going to play a lot. Uh, Barrington did the same thing. Um, and Josh, I thought Josh came out here and did some positive things. Uh, but they still have to, you know, we still got a lot of football ahead of us. Um, we're not going to be a one-back team. I don't see us being a one-back team. I see us being uh, a backup committees. You know, and two or three guys are going to have to play. We're going to have to play well. And at the end of the day, those three guys are going to have to be productive. And that's, I believe that's the kind of team we'll be.